Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. Welcome Bitcoin 52K. And where will we go now? I'm going to show you exactly in this video. I will keep it till 15 minutes because I don't have too much time. I need to do a presentation for a VIP group on this island here in Phuket. But let's take a look at four amazing Bitcoin charts at the spot ETF volume, at huge news for Bitcoins, but also at terrible news for Bitcoiners in the Netherlands, really terrible news. And yes, a live tip, yes, a travel tip, and yes, of course, also a trading tip. Let's quickly jump into the first chart to show you exactly what the next target is for Bitcoin. Bam. The first chart I'm going to show you guys is this weekly chart. And this weekly chart is a very important chart because you can see the resistance lines that are still left on the chart at the moment. And at the moment, the biggest resistance line is around that 52,500 level. And why is that a resistance? If you look to the left, you can see that at these moments over there, it was resistance, it was resistance. Here it was support, 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 resistance. So this level of 52,500 is a very important level. And if you zoom in now to this moment, you can see that we are exactly hitting that level. And we need to break this level to take it up to the next level of 66,000 US dollar per Bitcoin, where there is a lot of uh, resistance because it was the previous all-time high closing candle. And you can see on the right side, if I zoom out a little bit, that there is not that much volume around these levels. The volume is here on the bottom. There is not volume over there on the top. That is because only 10% of the Bitcoins you know, that still is in loss, was accumulating in that area. So those 10% can be selling because they're like, oh, finally I break even again with my investment, but they will be bought up by all the volume created by, for example, the spot ETS and the real team investors that will believe that Bitcoin goes to 100K. Important level for Bitcoin to break. But like I said yesterday, the market looks like it wants to go up. I told you yesterday, do you see these long wicks? This means the market wants to go up. And again, we saw the form of a hammer candle, a long wick here, this one, before that we pumped up again. That is why I've been educating you to always pay attention to the candlestick patterns. Now let's jump into the next chart. That is this one, the stock to flow model. You can see on the bottom part that that green area is touching that horizontal line that we need to break to become red. When we go red, we are go really bullish. We go into the second part of the bull market and we go among that line of the stock to flow model, probably to a level above 100K. I know that line tops out at 500K, but that can also take till 2028 or 29 before that we reach that 500K level. In between, we will go and follow the line to above 100K. That is what I truly believe. That green line will turn red very soon the blue dots, they will start to turn red and then yellow very soon. So yes, the stock to flow model was again correct and will take us above 100K. If we look at the Bitcoin halving regression, we are two months ahead of the curve because the 52K uh, level, 52,849, should be the halving regression price. That red line is the Bitcoin halving regression line and the halving is that vertical yellow line and that touch point of the dotted white line there on that line is at 52,849. We are ahead of the curve. We are already at that level, which is of course very beautiful, but it also means we could dip a little bit before we come back to this level around that halving moment. Nothing goes up directly. There is always a movement up, there is always a correction, and again a move up. Here you can see this line even more clear. It is a red circle there over there. That is the level of that line around the halving. Uh, yes, we are already at that level. And yes, if you look at this rainbow chart, we can go into the green and it will bring us to 90K. And we can go into the yellow, which could bring us even to 130K. And we even could go into the orange, which would mean we go above 180K. The red above 250K, hmm, I don't know but I would be very happy with just reaching the whole yellow and orange part already in this beautiful bull market all the way up to 2025. On this chart, you can see what is happening to the gold spot ETFs. Since the Bitcoin spot ETF has been launched, there's a shitload of Bitcoin spot ETFs being accumulated. You can see this here in this black line. That yellow line on the bottom is the gold spot ETFs. You can see what is happening. 
people are selling their gold spot ETFs to buy Bitcoin spot ETFs. People are dumping the traditional store of value, the traditional gold for the gold of the 21st century. This new futuristic decentralized digital store of value. That is what the people want to have. And that is why you can see the Bitcoin price going up and you can see the gold price going down. On this chart, you can see the average realized price of the ETF holding. So what is an average price that they all combined paid for Bitcoin? That is at 42,500 US dollar. The Bitcoin price is at 52K at the moment, which means all the people that bought Bitcoin in average for 42K are massively in profit. I think the profit level is around 16% at the moment. People will start to believe more and more in Bitcoin, start to talk with their dinner friends, golf friends, and all those people, hey, I'm making 16% in a month. You should go into Bitcoin. And then all their rich friends will also start to buy um, this beautiful Bitcoin gold of the 21st century spot EDF because they all don't want to run behind on their rich friends. They also want to become more rich. Here we can see the total market cap. At the moment, the market cap is 11.3 billion US dollar. The realized cap, 9.5 billion US dollars. So there is already a $2 billion profit being created now because of the Bitcoin spot ETF. This will all lead to huge headlines in the news, guys. That will affect all the people. There will be institutional FOMO created among all the people that want to protect their capital against inflation and everything else. They will all go for the Bitcoin spot ETF. The volume is really impressive for the first month and this is really going to lead to a massive supply shock that we have never seen before in Bitcoin. Here we can see that the 13th of February, $631 million worth of Bitcoin flowed into the market. That's a lot of Bitcoins. The day before 493, the day before 540, the day before 405, the day before 146. These are insane levels. This is all very bullish, guys. If this will continue, the supply shock will be even bigger than I already thought it would be. I hope you really enjoyed all those charts, guys. Yes, the spot ETF volume is insane. Two days ago, we had the biggest spot ETF volume ever of 630 billion US dollar going into, flowing into Bitcoin, guys. That is why we can see this push. That is why I've been warning you, warning you for months, that there will be a massive supply shock. The demand and supply is not in balance anymore. There is no supply and there is a shitload of demand. Everyone wants Bitcoin. Retail people, institutional investors, all people, all the world want Bitcoin. But there is no Bitcoin anymore. The market is drying up and we are not mining more Bitcoin every day because that's not possible. We can only mine 900 new Bitcoins every day and that will only be 450 from April 2024. So we are two months ahead of the halving curve if you look at the supply demand ratio that you saw in the charts. And this is very positive, and that's also why I've been warning you that this massive supply shock would be coming. I've been telling you to buy Bitcoin every dip possible. And you need to keep doing it all the way up to the halving because we will go much higher with these prices, guys. Now, let's jump into the trading tip. I have some terrible news for all the Bitcoin people in the Netherlands because my favorite exchange, Bybit, needs to stop offering services to Dutch customers because of all the fucked up rules the Netherlands has. That is one of the reasons why I left the Netherlands. This country is pampering their people and keeping them poor and making them more poor and poor and poor and don't give them the opportunity or possibility to even earn money now with Bitcoin anymore on the best exchange out there by bit. The Netherlands is fucking crazy. I feel so sorry for all of you Dutch people living there and not being able anymore to trade on Bybit or use that Bybit card. But there is an option, and that option is Apex Pro that is trading on a decentralized exchange. It is the best decentralized exchange on the market and you should be signing up to that exchange directly now with the link down below this video. Because if you sign up with this link, you will get an extra bonus. And at the moment, the possibilities on Apex Pro are growing tremendously. I believe that in the end, Apex Pro, when it comes to services and possibilities on that decentralized exchange, 
will be almost the same as we see now on Bybit for the Dutch customers. So you can trade with leverage, perpetual contracts, you can do lending, you can do staking, you can do a shitload already on Apex. They even now added a new Apex ETH vault on Camelot DEX where you can get an APR up to 633% per year at the moment. So the moment you start to become a liquidity provider, you will earn a shitload of tokens. Apex Pro is by far the best decentralized exchange out there. It has the same user interface and feel as a normal centralized exchange like Bybit. You will be able to do all the stuff that you did on Bybit now on Apex Pro. And I know you won't be able to use the debit card, but soon I will come with a video with a beautiful solution for all you Dutch people that you could use as a debit card instead of the one of Bybit now. So the trading tip for today is Please always have backup accounts. The first account you should create today is Apex Pro. Decentralized exchange, completely safe, all your cryptocurrency on your own wallet. Whatever might happen, they can't freeze it or stop it. It will always be your cryptocurrency. You will be able to trade spot. You will be able to trade with leverage. You will be able to stake or become a liquidity provider or join all the competitions they have and earn extra banana tokens. A lot of stuff is possible, so you sign up to Apex Pro. I will also come with two new centralized exchanges that I have been supporting and investing in, so that could be really good options for you as well, but I will make a new exclusive video about that tomorrow. So be prepared tomorrow to sign up to two more centralized exchanges that I also have invested in myself, so I completely trust it. Now, travel tip. When you travel to a foreign country, always make sure, if you travel with a family, but also when you travel solely, that you add all the alarm numbers to your telephone. Hospital, doctor, emergency line, police, fire brigade, all of these. Set them to your telephone. Because when you're in a new country and something happens and you're in panic, you can't think really straight anymore and you don't have the time to Google and search all the correct numbers. When you put them in your telephone, you can always directly call them. So always make sure that you go to a new country, that you set all the emergency alarm numbers in your phone that will come in very handy if something might happen. Knock, oh here, knock on wood. I hope nothing will happen. But if something will happen, you have all the emergency numbers by the hand. That's the travel tip, short to powerful, into the next part. The question for today was by one of the followers and the question was Didi, how did you convince your wife to go all in and leave the Netherlands for 100% uh, at that moment guys? Now first of all we both made that decision, we really were sick of the life in the Netherlands, we really wanted to build up a new life, we really wanted to travel and secondly we took it step by step. We didn't burn all the ships directly, we started with traveling already in 2016. So we started and traveled for three months. Those three months became nine months because we really loved that new lifestyle. We really loved Thailand, Asia and all the countries that we visited. And then from that nine months we came home to the Netherlands and then we said, hey, now let's sell the house, now let's go all in Bitcoin and now let's just keep this lifestyle that we have. From that moment we agreed we will live this new lifestyle where flexibility is a new stability. We didn't want to own any house anymore or any other materialistic stuff. We just wanted to travel and find this beautiful new place where we could maybe in the far future settle down. We still didn't find that place. At least Thailand is really close to it, but also Portugal is really close to it. But we still love to travel. So we took it step by step. So the best way to convince your wife to do it is like, tell her you can always go back. Just try it for three months to six months. And if you don't like it, or she doesn't like it, promise her, if you don't like it, we can always return back to that like state, control state, the Netherlands, if you want to be there, we can always go back. There is always the possibility, nothing is forever. So if you choose to start to travel now with your wife or to go to Malta, for example, that was, I think, the thing that you asked in the question, go there, it's a four hour flight. If you don't like it, you come back to the Netherlands and you build up everything again that you sold or that you don't own anymore. It's simple as that. It's not that difficult. Step by step. The news for today is that Bitcoin reached a $1 trillion market cap. 
by reaching the price of 51k, one trillion dollar market cap. We are now already at 52k, probably even going to 54k, and maybe if we break that, even to 60k, because there is not much resistance in this area. There is not much volume in the past creators in these areas. So it's easy for Bitcoin to break through these areas, and especially when these huge amounts of spot ETF inflows are on a daily, 600 million volume in Bitcoin spot ETFs every day. That's a shit load of Bitcoins being bought up by the spot ETFs only. We are not even talking about the retail investors or other investment companies that don't have access yet to Bitcoin. This market demand is massively and that is pushing up this price. As you saw, the spot ETF price, the average bought it is 42k. They are up with 16% in profit already. They will be adding to their position. They will be like, what the fuck? We made 16% in a month. Let's put more in. Let's take everything out of gold, like you saw on the graph. Let's put it all in Bitcoin spot ETF because that's making way more profits. So that is pushing this price up. There is no selling pressure. There is buying pressure. The supply is not enough, but the demand is tremendously. So news for the day, Bitcoin, $1 trillion market cap. Yes, $2 trillion market cap. Definitely reachable, yes, even maybe a $4 trillion market cap for Bitcoin could be reachable in the end at the bull market top somewhere in 2025. X4, I'm talking about from this level. Amazing two years ahead, 2024, 2025, very bullish, beautiful years for Bitcoin. The inspirational part is very short but powerful. Don't let yesterday take too much up of today. Today is a new day. You woke up again. All the worries you had yesterday, please let them go. Please start this new day in a positive way. Don't let all the issues, problems, or tasks of yesterday take too much of up today. Just start a new clean day from this morning. Focus on the beautiful things that's gonna happen today instead of worrying about what you did wrong or you needed to do yesterday. You can't change yesterday anymore. The day is behind us. You need to look to this day. What can I do today? And maybe even think a little bit about, oh, and what beautiful things can I do tomorrow? Don't worry about all the stuff of yesterday or the day before that or the year before that or all the years before that because you won't be able to change or influence it and it will only influence your emotions probably in a negative way. If you want to think in the past, think about all the happy stuff all the beautiful times, all the beautiful trips, all the beautiful moments with your family, whatever it is that makes you happy, think about that. But don't think about yesterday's worries and tasks and all that stuff is cluttering up your mind. You don't need it. Focus on today, be happy, live to the fullest, enjoy every single minute, maybe even plan what you're going to do tomorrow to again be happy and wake up healthy and all that stuff. That is including with like a little bit of sports today, makes you healthy so you wake up healthy tomorrow, you know? Like that. That is, I think, the most important part for today. Don't let yesterday take too much up of today. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts and everything else I talked about in this video? Thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing Thursday and see you tomorrow again on Friday. I will make a special video about the two subjects I told you about this new centralized exchange and also about the new possibilities of this card. But please give me a little bit of time. I am pretty busy as well. Now, I wish you an amazing day. See you tomorrow again. Bam.